All right, our last segment is going to be on traditional acrylic nails. All right, so what I'm going to do is explain to you what I'm doing before I do it so that um, I can work with the product and I don't have to stop to explain. But the idea behind this is you want to, you want to create a rounded effect. You want the acrylic strongest through here where a tip is attached. This is the stress area. You want it thinner at the edges. You don't want big, thick, clumpy nails. And you want it thinner back here to give it a natural look. So you're trying to build that curve in there. I'm gonna have, mm, I might have pretty good success. I might not have such good success. All right, some of you may be able to do this better than I do, but what I wanna talk to you is if you hold your brush the same way all the time and you have the client, or in this case, the Orangewood stick, change what they're doing. So I'm going to make the Orangewood stick um, go down, which will keep it thin as I'm patting, and it'll get thicker there. Then I'm going to turn, I'm gonna pull the Orangewood stick up, and I'm not moving my hand, and I'm going to build it from thinner back here to thicker, and then I'm really going to turn the Orangewood stick up. So I don't have to change what I'm doing, I can just move that person's hands to get what I, what I desire. Thin to thick, thin to thick this way, and then thin to thick. All right. The other thing is, if you spend a lot of time doing this with acrylic, you're going to um, either have to make it very runny, which it's not going to be as strong, or you're going to be digging holes in it. Okay, so the idea with this is padding. It's not drawing so much. Everything is a padding motion. All right, so let's give this a shot and see how far I get. All right, so I'm going to pick up my acrylic, my uh, monomer. I'm going to pick up my polymer again just with the tip. Okay, I want to wait till it gets frosty. Okay, I'm going to roll it off, wipe my brush, and then I'm going to start building. So I'm making it, I'm making the my client the orange wood stick tilt their um, hand up in the air so it's thinner. To thicker okay once you get where you want it let it go it will liquefy and it will turn really pretty all by itself this is one of those things where the more you mess with it the worse it gets okay now I'm going to pick up my second ball of acrylic and you can see how small my balls of acrylic are Okay, I'm going to place that right behind there. Now, this is a very short nail. This may be my last ball of acrylic. So I'm going to push it nice and thin back here. Okay, so again, it's still a padding motion. Okay, my, my ball is a little bit wet. And the reason why I know that is because when I'm padding, the acrylic's trying to follow me onto my brush. So if you can make it a little bit drier than that, you'll have less opportunity. Now, as it starts to harden, now I'm finally going to pull, okay? Mine's not great, doesn't have a great C curve there, but it has a little bit of that. Okay, I'm gonna make sure my brush is clean and we're gonna wait for this to dry. Now, it should sound like this. We'll know it's done when it sounds like this. I don't wanna tap it right now, I'll put grooves in it, but right now it's gonna sound more like that. It's gonna have more of a, um, a sound where it's not as, as sharp. That has a very high sharp sound. That's when we'll know that it's dry. So I'll be right back. Okay, I just want to show you how to finish up here. So you can hear that my nail sounds the same as my orange wood stick, so it is dry. Okay, I have this little bit of monomer left over, so just be very sparing with it because you're going to go like this with it. 
and that way you will have it, um, it's not going to go through and you have something that you can throw away. All right, the other thing that I want to do to clean up is I want to try to insert this. Try not to let any of the hairs go back the other way. If you can't get that to do that, then don't put it in this tube. I always have not very good success with this. Okay, if you can't do that, just keep it in this tube. It goes in like that. And just keep always keep it in there to keep it in the right shape. Okay, it looks just like when it came. All right, so we are down to filing. Okay, so I'm going to take the rough side, and I'm going to start now. This is a characteristic of odorless acrylic. Do you see that layer that's coming off? There will always be like a rubbery layer on odorless acrylic. Okay, it's not a big deal. You just roll it off like that. You might think, if you didn't know better, you might think it's not completely dry, but it is. You could hear that clickiness. Okay, so you get that off of there. All right. I'm going to check my sides, check my end, make sure everything looks good. Once you get rid of all of that rubbery part, now it's just like any acrylic. Okay, you have to follow the contour of the nail, so you're going to not hold your file um, that it's only going in one direction. You have to follow the curve of the nail as you file. Okay, and then I'm going to go down my little ears coming off of mine, which isn't a big deal because your natural nail wouldn't have that. Then I'm going to go to my fine file. You know what, I think I had that backwards. I think the dark pink is the finer side. I was thinking it was the other way around the whole time. Okay, so after I do the light pink side, I'm gonna finish with the dark pink. I always wanna finish with the, um, the finer of the grit. Okay. It's nice and smooth. Okay, I want to make sure that nothing is like stuck underneath. And then the way that you can judge to see how your acrylic nail came out is to take some clear um, fingernail polish or some um, colors would be even better yet. And you put that on there and what you're looking at is when you move it how does the light look on there? If there's big curves on there, then you've got some problems, okay? You have lumps and bumps if the light curves as you move it back and forth. The other thing is when you're filing, if I would start to file this one again, and I would be filing it and everything would look frosty, but maybe a couple spots, what that means is those are low spots, okay? So you have to file until everything looks frosty. If not, you're gonna have a bumpy nail. Okay, obviously we don't want a bumpy nail, but when you're starting, you might end up with one because you're just learning. So if you, if you start um, filing and everything looks frosty but a couple spots, you gotta keep going till you get everything that frosty color, and then you don't have any lumps or depressions in the nail. Then if you, you know, are putting more product on or whatever, that's fine, but you have to do that or you're gonna have very lumpy looking nails. So for me, this turned out pretty good. Um, I know it's a very little nail, but I'm pretty proud of that today. It's sometimes it's a toss up, sometimes I do okay and sometimes not, but that one's pretty good. So. That is the last of the um, things with the acrylic. Again, just keep your stuff very clean, very neat. Don't let anything get knocked over. Um, and you will have this um, for a long time. 
We're done today. I'm going to fold this up and I'm going to throw it away and all the mess is contained in there. Okay, thanks very much.